Okay, so when you're ready, you can uh, open your eyes, come back into the Zoom. And perhaps somebody would like to share what happened for them. If you would like, you can just wave your hand. I think Divya is waving her hand. Would you like to share, Divya? Okay. Yes. I well, I was not so much shaking my hand, but okay. <laughs> ah. Um. Well, in the first um, step, there were some body sensations. Mm, then came like a, yeah, kind of strong energy and my heart was beating faster and I had kind of <laughs> a feeling of kind of joy or uh, excitement as if something is happening um yeah and then it became more quiet as, uh, towards the end and you feel quiet now mm. no not so much <laughs> it's when when it says come back, um, the thoughts came back. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I got my cough back. Must be something about the Zoom meeting. I didn't have a cough before. Okay. Does somebody else like to share? Okay, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, if you can say something. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I was very much in my uh, body pain today. And uh, in the first step of the meditation, um, I tried to get really into my stiff neck and um, it was quite fine because uh, I felt much warmth and uh, my heart was uh, beating a little bit stronger and after that at the third step I fell into warm darkness and it varies silent and warm and that was very wonderful because um, uh, it answers my question um, because of my hip pain in the last days very very much strong very strong um, and Ramana always says, uh, you're not the body. And I always struggle. And I struggle with my body, <laughs> my body pain, you know, and um, can't really go over it. And I want to ask you, what, what can I really do? Can I... Um, um, how can I say, um, how, can I manage it like in the meditation to really, really go into the hips, for example, and take t my time. And, but as I say, I struggle. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had almost the same situation as you for about four years ago. Yeah, because yeah. I also had hip pain in two hips, both mm -hmm. hips. And yeah. uh, I had an alternative doctor 
And he was always encouraging me to deal with this hip problem without an yeah. operation. Hmm. So I, I sort of took his advice, which led to a lot of pain, yeah. a lot of massages and so on. Hmm. But uh, yeah. I re remember traveling to Rishikesh and giving meetings. Hmm. And in the meetings, the pain, of course, disappeared. But when I would go for lunch, I remember trying to walk across the bridge there and uh, a lot of pain. Mm. So, um, basically, when when you're coming into the sort of attachment to the yeah. to body, to somebody who has yeah. pain, then there is mm. pain. But equally, mm. when you come to something deeper, as you experience now with what you call warm darkness, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is probably your essence, yeah. Uh, when you're there, the pain goes. Mm. So the invitation is to spend more time in your essence and less time yeah. in the body, mind, uh, and stuff. Yeah. 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 And you're going to be so pleased when you have your operations that you'll be yeah. uh, reborn, reborn. Mm, I think so. Yeah. In February. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. But you're coming to India with this yes. pain. Bring your pain to India. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, we have a, one or two guests that I don't know. Maybe one of the guests would like to share something. Um, Gabrielle, I, you're from Munich, I think. Do you speak English? Do you like to share something? Okay. If you speak a few words, then we'll see the screen, bigger screen. Gabriele, du müsstest dein Mikro noch anmachen, da müsste eine Meldung auf deinem Bildschirm sein. Perhaps you need translation, does she? Yes. You know, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Good. okay. Do you need translation or do you speak English? Um, what language do you speak? I, I speak with my mother's language. Okay, so Indira, can, can you speak English? Indira, can you talk to her in German, please? Yeah, I speak with her in Deutsch. <laughs> I'm already talking German to her. Also, okay. jetzt zur Übung habe ich gemerkt, am Anfang es war wie eine Irritation. Was ist jetzt die stärkste Empfindung? So, das, es waren viele Empfindungen auf einmal da. Und dann habe ich gemerkt, irgendwie habe ich jetzt einen Stress, die Stärkste rauszusuchen. Und dann habe ich mir gedacht, egal, ich ist mir jetzt egal. Ich, ich sit, bin jetzt einfach da und atme. Und ich habe dann einfach das sofort sein lassen. Die, irgendwie, aber ich habe gemerkt... Maybe, maybe so you stop right, with, and we translate. So right at the beginning, there was a bit of stress because I suddenly thought, oh my God, what is the most intense uh, sensation? So, but then very quickly I could let go and um, just breathe. Okay. Yeah, and, and then I feel really happy. I feel happy and I got very, very warm. So beautiful. I I wanted to take my pullover off. <laughs> we, we welcome, you know, if you want to take your clothes off, we'd be happy. I'm sure you're very good without your you clothes. Wenn du deine Kleider ausziehen willst, mach das ruhig. Wir freuen uns darüber. <laughs> Everything welcome. Alles yeah. ist willkommen. Yeah. I mean, what's interesting, if you haven't done this Zoom meeting before, is that very often people are surprised that how energy seems to transmit in this Zoom meeting. Also wenn du diese Zoom-Meetings vorher noch nicht gemacht hast, viele Leute sind immer sehr darüber überrascht, wie die Energie auch über Zoom sich transportieren kann. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so maybe we talk a bit later, again, if you want. Vielleicht sprechen wir später nochmal, wenn du möchtest. Ja, danke. Thank you. Um, 
Okay, and we have another guest, Catherine. I think she's from Berlin. Und da gibt es noch einen anderen Gast. Katrin, Hello. ich glaube, sie kommt aus Berlin. Hello, everybody. Yeah, for me, um, when you when you uh, invited us to meditate and uh, not uh, change anything, that already was a relief for me. Um, and you did this several times, and it always um, brought me deeper into relax relaxing. And right. then in the, uh, what was uh, uh, surprising for me, you said um, in the final, um, um, how can I say, the final invitation was to uh, sink deeper. And I felt an opening uh, in, in my heart and um, it, it was very emotional. Right, <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, yeah, good, good, yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you, and uh, we may or may not see you again in India, but I, I understand you're having an intense time with your life in Berlin. Absolutely, yeah. Indira told you already, yeah. yeah. A little bit, yeah. Things yeah, can yeah. change, maybe things can it's change. It's not noticed and uh, unclear un, un, uh, right now, but I uh, just simply let it happen, yeah. Right, right. Well, you're welcome to come at the last moment, you know. Last moment, you can jump a plane the, the day before we start, you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe one more person. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we have a Russian lady I, I haven't met for some time. Where is she? Um, So how about um, Rami, would you like to say hello and maybe share something? Sure. Yeah. But met for, what, five years maybe? No, uh, we met in 2020 in Tripila. Which year did we meet? 2020 in Tripila, I was uh, translating a meeting together with Arjuna. Okay, 2020, 20, yeah. three years ago. Uh, yeah, and after that, we met, uh, you had uh, sat some in Kiev also. Okay, good. I don't and remember how... when it was, I think in, 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 in October or something like this, the same year. Right, so you've been traveling the world or you've been staying in Kiev? No, I left Kiev uh, one week after the war started. Right. And right. Uh, traveling. Right. I'm really Good. happy to see you. <laughs> you look a lot like you look a lot like Rani, even though you must have been through quite a strong time, I guess. Yes, but um, it helps that. Uh, I know that uh, it's not the reality. The reality is only inside. I mean, only. Okay. Um, so, so what happened during the meditation for you? Uh, meditation was um, uh, feeling um, strong energy inside my heart. Right. So I feel it uh, almost always, but now it was even stronger, and it was like even like a little a little bit pain. Heart, heart pain. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you had heart pain, did you? Oh, it, but it's not heart pain. It's like uh, 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 here, like it's uh, not enough big to. Uh, to be like it's not too enough open for this strong energy so it's like oh <laughs> right okay good so oh, i see the gallery so okay so um some of you know that i'm uh, rather a fan of elon musk who plans to start a new 
world on Mars, and he's got all kind of rockets and things going on. So um, anyway, this man has recently bought something that was called Twitter. And uh, after buying this for many billions, he's changed the name to X. So um, I decided I would start posting things on this X. And so um, Ohm, the man who was setting up the meeting, he's been posting up little films made by um, Carly, who is, uh, you can see on the left screen here. And they've made lots of wonderful little short films, which we're posting up on this X. So if anybody would be interested, you can go to X and put in John David now. And then you can see all kind of posts. And at the same time, Ohm has recently created a new video page, which maybe he'll show us now. Can you show it to us now? I just show you this page. It's on my website. And again, it has these short videos, which are just one or two minutes long. Uh, here are the short films all together. And if you can see, just can you bring it down a bit, Ohm, so that right so uh where, where's the menu i can't really see the menu but anyway on this menu we have different um they don't see ah now we can see okay so we have these new videos which are quite short and then we have um we've made six quite full length one and a half hour films which you can also watch on youtube but now we put them all together on this page and um, over the last years, we had various special guests coming to our community. So there is interviews with different, different people. And um, we have something called Topic Search. Maybe we click, can you click on that, Jim? Um, this is rather a clever device. Topics, yeah. So there's Topic Search. One, two, two, three. Um, is it about 60? I think there is something like 60 titles, things like destiny, doubts, ego, um, covering pretty much everything that we might be interested to investigate. And by clicking on one of these titles, the software brings up everything that I spoke on that subject over many years. So it's a bit of a, a historical archive. So this is when I was a bit younger, had a bit more hair, um, not so much hair maybe. But anyway, th this is uh, it's quite an interesting uh, software because it brings you to the topics that you're particularly interested. In. So I just wanted to give this information. You can find it on my website under video. But now maybe I'd like to play a couple of small films. And the first one is called Living Under a Spell. Can we play that one? The biggest problem is that people, humanity, are 95% completely unconscious. So they don't know they're unconscious. How could you possibly know you're unconscious when everybody you meet every day is also unconscious? So you can imagine if I would be a magician and I would cast a spell on you and then you were living your life under the spell, you wouldn't know that you're under a spell, would you? And then one day, somebody or something would wake you up from your spell. And then, in that moment, you would realize you've been living under a spell. But it's very difficult to see that because everybody's living under the same spell. Under this spell, you're invited to do like this and you're like, like that and to find a partner and make some kids and get a job and make money and pay your rent. And, fix the phone bill and all that stuff. How did this spell arise? This arise due to the 
conditioning that every human being receives as they grow up. Why is this happening? What kind of a civilization are we creating on this planet? What kind of life are we affecting? Are you ready to wake up? Okay, they're very short and a bit, uh, whatever you might find them. And we have another one which uh, has a very beautiful ending. So we'll play this one also. This is called Breaking Free. Can we start in the beginning? Oh. Can you get it to the title page, the star? It seems the quality on Zoom is not very good, but if you feel to watch them or some of them, uh, if you go to my website, the quality is very, very nice. Very good sound and very good pictures. Okay, go ahead. We were brought up in our families to believe that what society is offering us is the life. And around this life, this society life, there's a few funny people called artists. And then around the other side, there's a few funny guys called revolutionaries or political something, or terrorists or something, yeah? But in the middle, there's a big kind of habit, enormous habit. And we're all brought up inside this habit. We have a mummy, we have a daddy, we have a family, we have a job. We have a car, we have a house and a mortgage. We work for our whole life to pay off the mortgage. If we're lucky, we retire with a little pension and we go to live in Spain or something. And then like happy little robots who have been nicely conditioned, we just then do that life, you see. Why do you want to live in prison? Why not do what you really want to do? It's more bigger and more beautiful than any any words. Every day. Yeah, every day, every day. Yeah. So I think almost everybody on this Zoom has a taste of waking up, has a, had a glimpse of waking up. And uh, because of that glimpse, we are in this meeting tonight, probably. Because once you've had a glimpse, you can't really go on living the conditioned life anymore. There's always something inside you where you go to and where you feel somehow maybe disturbed, but disturbed in a very beautiful way, incredibly beautiful way. So this lady at the end of that film, in fact, is a young lady from Ukraine who I met some years ago. And as you can see, she had a very strong glimpse it just suddenly happened in one of our retreats and um, she stayed for 
I don't know, maybe two or three weeks, very much in this deep connection to her essence. She was a fairly remarkable girl because it had also happened something like five or six years before. It happened this second time. She also had a glimpse, a strong glimpse. Unfortunately, I don't have contact with her anymore, so I don't know how it's continued. But if those few moments touched you, one of our films that you can watch on YouTube or you can watch on my website is called Vijaya. Vijaya means victory, great victory. So her name was Jaya, which means victory, and then Vijaya means great victory. So I gave her this name after she had this strong glimpse. She was rather unusual because she was having two children and was very busy being a mother, very heartful mother. When this thing happened to her, it was actually in Spain as our um, house in Spain. She, um, I think her oldest child was about uh, maybe 10, nine or 10. And she had a, a one, about a one year old or one and a half year old um, son also. So she was very much busy. And uh, so she had this strong glimpse. Um, we talked together, and you can watch this conversation because she discovered that after the glimpse, her relationship with her children was very different. And her sense of herself in mothering her children was also very much more relaxed. Something very profound changed inside her. So I think this is quite an interesting uh, interview, which you can watch, as I said, on YouTube, or you can watch it on, on, um, on, on that page we just showed you. So this is, this is somehow we, something we all know. I think nearly everybody I know on this Zoom tonight, not everybody, but the people I know, they've all had some kind of glimpse. And even if it's only for a very short time, it basically changes your life because you know something that you didn't really know before. And so something has to change, something keeps being reminded inside and we start to reach out and we find ourselves making new decisions in our life. Maybe our old life simply doesn't work very well anymore. And maybe we have some panic when that starts to happen. Something sort of breaks down. And what breaks down is a lot to do with our conditionings. And we find that maybe there's a period where it all feels very vulnerable. And then in almost by itself, almost like the destiny takes over, we find um, situations that can help us we find people that can help us we maybe find a teacher who has some understanding of what's going on and um this glimpse is perhaps becoming more deeply who you are who you are from day to day who you are from moment to moment and of course once we've had this kind of glimpse um, it leads us in a, a new way, we can say, in a, in a completely new way. There's a, there's a shift, a shift in our life. So this is, in a way, what I would like to focus on tonight, because I'm pretty sure many of you know this glimpse, and maybe you also forget about it. Unfortunately, we tend to forget because there's so many um, other things that take us over, things that we've been conditioned to follow, thought patterns particularly, that we very often follow these patterns. And we find maybe the glimpse um, gets more remote, but never disappears. My experience is that when somebody has had a glimpse, the door never really closes. There's something that's different. And it's, it's this kind of a bit open door can lead us to make changes in our life. So I don't know if somebody would like to either share something in, in 
the film that touched you in the film or didn't touch you in the film, or maybe somebody would like to share um, your own glimpse that has happened in your life and what came out of that glimpse, whether in fact your life did change or whether there was some maybe fear. Sometimes uh, fear can happen in that change time. So if somebody would like to share, then we can go more into this. If you'd like to share, you just wave your hand. So Rani, you want to share? Okay. Okay. And in fact, you know Vijay rather well. You were there when that happened actually four or five years ago. Yeah, I was in the same retreat and uh, I, I was sitting just uh, in front, I mean, from once we were sitting like in the one line. Uh, Vijay was sitting in the middle. From one side was you, from the other side was me. And I also had very strong uh, energetical um, happening to me. And um, uh, about Vijay, I can tell that um, I saw her this June, no, July. And she, uh, she is, uh, uh, I mean, she has no such a deep uh, opening anymore, but she is uh, very often on this uh, deep silence. All right, All right. And how old is her little boy now? I think five years old. And maybe okay. it will be interesting to, to know that because they live now in, in uh, England and he speaks perfectly English with an uh, Oxford accent because they live near <laughs> Oxford. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, and also, her daughter? Uh, Eva also, she speaks very well English, but uh, not uh, so perfect uh, as uh, David. And um, and the funny oh, his, thing, name, his name is David. Uh, small, yeah, boy is named David. Yeah, David. But they call in Russian a way David, but okay, David. Right, right. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah. Yes, and um, the funny thing that all family call me uh, Atma because the, when we met, I was Atma, <laughs> and they right. call me. Vika. <laughs> okay. Vika. <laughs> He's so, wow, so different uh, from all the family. <laughs> okay, where do they live in, in England? They live in Oxford. Oxford. Uh, they live uh, in some small city between Oxford and uh, London. Okay. I don't remember the name. Okay. And they've been there probably when the war started. They left Ukraine or yeah, before? Yeah they, yeah, they left Ukraine and uh, uh, because uh, Peter, husband of Vijay, he works for English company. So they invite them to stay there. And oh, okay, good. They give them house and... Peter wow. continue to work and uh, Vijaya also uh, has a bit work. I mean, she has some job, some, some kind of job in college, like helper or something like to do. Okay. Some, some. Wow, very nice. Yeah, yeah and uh, we met together in July in, uh, in Croatia. Croatia? Yeah. Okay, good. And so you were saying that when this glimpse happened to her, something strong happened to you. Can you talk something about that and how it's been continuing over the last years? Uh, well, for me, it was like uh, nothing really new. I had uh, like uh, also strong this uh, 
energy inside my body, but at that time it was really strong. I could not move for a few hours, maybe also. So it was some place where I stayed, but I, I could see from there uh, what's, what's happened uh, to Jaya. So it was like a double. <laughs> impression so because I felt it in me and I, I saw how uh, what's going on with Vijaya so it was like I felt that we are in a way together somewhere but not but not there <laughs> not in Spain <laughs> okay. yeah. and since that time have you had other glimpses um, you know, I come to say that I had some strong uh, glimpses. I generally uh, have a pretty uh, strong uh, energy in my heart, and uh, uh, very often I feel like, um, uh, like um, let's say, light orgasm. So I feel absolutely open to the world. I feel like, uh, like me and the world is i mean there is no difference between between me and the world so like um, so and it's it it makes uh, sometimes uh, me like uh, uh, joyful sometimes like very very silent sometimes like uh, a light orgasm so it's like um, uh, always I'm um, in the uh, in the flow, let's say. So it's a little bit different uh, the uh, uh, the feelings of this flow. So sometimes I feel very peaceful, like like just nothing happened, like so deep silence. Sometimes I feel very joyful. So it's but it's awesome. I mean. It's, uh, I, I feel that it's just uh, sides of one uh, uh, one how to say statement or <laughs> there is no words to to, 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 to call it as a child told <laughs> no words yeah this is one of the things that is very profound that when that happens it's not nothing personal, yeah. This is somehow clear from watching what happened to the energy when Vijay had her moment. The energy somehow comes, and it's nothing that she is doing. There's no doing on her part. It's like the energy takes over, and one, we could all see <laughs> how blissful she became and how. You could almost feel the energy kind of moving her around uh, almost to the point where it was almost painfully wonderful. You say painfully wonderful. Exactly. And uh, uh, there is no personality anymore and just some, some witnesses, some kind of uh, witness, nothing else. See what's going on. Right. Okay. Well, it would be very lovely if next week you tell her about this meeting. I would love to uh, to see her again. Well, <laughs> I can't promise you because uh, actually uh, uh, we were talking uh, uh, and because I was planning to uh rent apartment in valencia but it's not happened and uh, but it was the moment when the deal almost was uh, ready for renting the apartment and vijaya called me and i told it looks like i will have an apartment and she told oh then we will come <laughs> so, uh, but i don't know i'll i'll talk to her Okay, okay, good. Okay, perhaps uh, we have somebody else who likes to. Uh, 
Oh, oh I'm not very good at this text stuff. Okay, let's can you see everybody. <clears throat> Aditi, you would like to share? Okay. So if you say something, you'll appear on the screen. And DT, if you can see, yeah. Yes. Good. Ja, ich hatte diese wunderbare Erfahrung Ostern im Retreat in Leverkusen. Und I had this wonderful experience in the Easter Retreat in Hitter. Es war alles frei. Und dann bin ich die Woche geblieben und was ich dort erfahren habe, ist so eine tiefe Heimweh, was kam. Ich habe noch nie in meinem Leben Heimweh gehabt, so ein Heimweh nach Haus zu kommen. Can you translate? Can you translate? So, yeah, I didn't understand everything. So then I stayed for one week longer and then I experienced a very deep. Kannst du nochmal sagen, was du gesagt hast, Aditi? Ich habe es nicht verstanden. Ich hatte dann so ein tiefes Heimweh verspürt, dieses Heimweh nach Hause zu kommen. And then I felt der a very geblieben bin. I felt a very deep homesickness, a deep longing to coming home. Und seitdem hat sich mein Leben an sich stark verändert, ist so viel Frieden gekommen und ach, es einfach ist es geworden. And since then peace my life has changed very much. A lot of peace came and lots of things became much easier. Zeigen sure. sich zwar viele Strukturen und Muster, aber der Kampf hat aufgehört. There are still a lot of structures and patterns, but the struggle stopped. Right, right. Yeah. And I mean, my, my sense is that since that time, and again tonight, talking to you tonight, um, that glimpse hasn't closed. It's still, somehow the door is still partly open. Also mein Gefühl ist, ähm, seit längerer Zeit und vor allem auch heute Abend, dass sich diese Öffnung nie wieder wirklich verschlossen hat. Sie ist immer noch auf. I remember you told us this story about your son or sons that you've been having difficulty with your sons and then um, this year after that happened to you at Easter on your birthday they surprised you they just kind of showed up to wish you happy birthday and this was uh, very very touching for you I think. Du hast uns ja erzählt, dass du Schwierigkeiten <lacht> hattest mit deinen Söhnen und dass ganz plötzlich heute an deinem Geburtstag die beide aufgetaucht sind um dir zu gratulieren und dass das für dich unglaublich berührend war. Ja. Und es war so bedingungslos, so aus dem Moment heraus. Yes, and it was completely just... unconditional and just coming out of the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there, there's a sort of mystery, you know, after the glimpse, it's like you, on some level, you enter into a mystery and this mystery keeps on kind of, um, how can I say, keeps on creating unexpected and wonderful things. Ja, es ist ein Mysterium, wenn man so eine Öffnung hatte, dann ähm, entfaltet sich irgendwas und wunderbare und unerwartete Dinge begegnen uns. Mhm. Nicht bloß mit meinen Söhnen, äh, auch beruflich, ich bin seit August wieder selbstständig, das ist ja was. Es läuft, es, die Menschen kommen mit Journeys geben, also es ist was, ich kann es nicht erklären. And not only with es my läuft. son, also with my job, since August I'm self-employed and the people just come, it just happens, yeah, that I can give the sessions and it's flowing. 
Und ich habe das ge ja. ich, Gefühl, ich kann davon eine ganze Menge weitergeben. Von dieser and Erfahrung. Und da ist das Gefühl, ich kann viel von dieser Erfahrung teilen. Ich kann es zu anderen Menschen Right, right. Yes, you have, it's like you have something very unique. And even if you can't so easily talk about it, people can feel it. You know, they feel something like a different energy. They feel like uh, you could almost say an aura around you, which touches the people that come to meet you. Yeah, this is was very einzigartiges. Man könnte sagen, dass die Leute, auch wenn sie davon nicht wissen, dass sie das doch irgendwie erspüren. Das ist so ein bisschen, als ob du so eine Aura um dich rum hast, was die Leute angenehm finden, dir zu begegnen. Good, ja. Yeah. Okay, good. Und yes. ich wollte noch sagen, doch noch was sagen, auch da Ostern in der Öffnung, was mich sehr getragen hat, war dieses Gefühl in der Gruppe, das Vertrauen. Auch dort And dieses Loslassen können, dieses die Energie der Gruppe. I wanted to say Easter, what really carried me was a trust in the group and uh, through this trust I could really deeply let go through the trust in the group. Right. And this, of course, the group expands. It's a, bit, it's a new trust in life itself, of course. Ja, und die Gruppe, die weitet sich dann aus und es entsteht ein neues Vertrauen in das Leben. I remember last year you wanted to come to India, but in the end it didn't happen, but you're coming this year. Ich erinnere mich, dass du letztes Jahr mit nach Indien oh. wolltest und dann ist das am Ende aber doch nicht geschehen. Aber jetzt kommst du mit. Ich komm. Nein, ich hatte gesagt, ich komme dieses Jahr mit. No, I said last year that I will come this year. Oh, okay. Und ich komme mit. <laughs> And I will come. Okay, good, good. Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking about two uh, very wonderful Indian women. We meet them every year in this retreat. Ich denke gerade an zwei wunderbare indische Frauen, die wir in dem Retreat, denen wir in dem Retreat begegnen werden. One one woman in fact works as a dentist. Eine von denen arbeitet so als Zahnärztin. But in fact she was already when she was a little girl or teenage girl, she was only interested to understand who who or what is God. Aber schon als sie ein kleines Mädchen war und ein Teenager war sie nur daran interessiert herauszufinden, was oder wer Gott ist. And there was a guru who used to come to visit some people living nearby where she lived. Und es gab einen Guru, der besuchte immer ihre Nachbarn. And she had this very strong feeling inside about, you know, I want to meet God. Und sie hatte dieses starke Gefühl im Inneren, ich möchte gerne Gott begegnen. And so one day this guru, when he was visiting some people nearby, Suddenly came to her house. Und eines Tages kam dieser Guru, der eigentlich die Nachbarn besuchte, zu ihrem Haus. And then over the years she became very involved with that Guru. Und über die Jahre ist sie dann diesem Guru sehr nahe gekommen. And gradually became one of the closest disciples to that man. Und sie wurde dann einer der engsten Schüler von diesem Mann. And this man is actually the guru of the ashram where we stay in India since now 22 years. Und dieser Mann, der ist der Guru von diesem Ashram, wo wir immer sind, wenn wir nach Indien fahren und das schon seit 23 Jahren. So I had quite a nice contact. He wasn't my particular teacher, but um, I used to go and sit with him. He was a very heartful, loving uh, man and I would enjoy sitting in his meetings, although I, he he wasn't somehow uh, he he didn't he wasn't my teacher, but we had a strong connection. He er would throw, jetzt, throw apples at me occasionally. Also er war jetzt nicht mein Lehrer, aber wir hatten eine sehr schöne Verbindung und ich saß oft in seinen ähm, Satzang. Er warf immer Äpfel nach mir. And then um, 
I can't really now remember anymore how it happened, but he's been blessing us to use his ashram for the last uh, 20, 22 years. Ja, ich weiß nicht mehr genau, wie es geschehen ist, aber er hat uns immer wieder gesegnet und seinen Ashram seit 23 Jahren zur Verfügung gestellt. So we have a very nice small ashram where we take most of the, um, the accommodation. Und äh, wir haben da einen sehr schönen kleinen Ashram, wo unsere Unterkünfte sind. Yeah. And then we, we have a connection, well, I, I have a connection with another very wonderful woman who is Uh, was also very close to a well-known guru, and now she's, if you like, the, the, the mother of a very big ashram. Und dann habe ich einen sehr guten Kontakt zu einer Frau, die ist auch eine enge Schülerin von einem sehr, sehr bekannten Guru gewesen, und sie ist jetzt quasi die Mutter von einem großen Ashram, von seinem großen Ashram. And uh, we've got into the habit of going to spend a whole day with her. She, she offers her, us some time and uh, always she offers us lunch and uh, we can ask many questions. She's a wonderful, wonderful human being. Und in den letzten Jahren hat sich das so entwickelt, dass wir immer einen Tag mit ihr verbringen durften. Sie macht ein Meeting mit uns, sie versorgt uns mit Mittagessen. Sie ist einfach eine wunderbare Frau. I always feel she's like Mother India. Ich habe immer das Gefühl, sie ist Mutter in den Indien. Yeah. So, okay, good. Maybe somebody else? Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else like to share maybe something about their glimpse or about the subject? There's a lady who just joined the meeting, I think. Michelle, would you like to say hello? Michelle? Hi. Hi, John David. Hi. Um, okay. yeah. Hi. Are you from England? Yeah, I'm in Wales, UK. Wales? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been on for a long time. I've been on once before. Oh, it might be two, three years ago. I can't remember. Okay. And I missed the meditation, but I'm feeling a lot of energy just sitting here. <laughs> feeling... Um, okay. Yeah. Kind where, of... where are you in Wales? I was born in Wales. Yeah, you're Welsh. I'm um, in Wrexham. Wrexham. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Actual football team in Wrexham, don't they? Some Hollywood guys bought a small team and they're building it up into a big successful team. Yeah, that's right. That Celebrities, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the map. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, since you've been in the meeting, you say you feel a, some strong energy? Yeah, I'm feeling it around my chest now and kind of, uh, it's nice, but you know, yeah, I'm feeling, um, yeah, around my heart. Okay. Kind of, uh, it's nice, so make me want to take a bit of a deeper breath sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is good. Probably just feel to be quiet with it, if I'm honest. And we, we were talking, I think, when you, uh, probably after you came on the into the meeting, we were talking about people who have had a glimpse. Is that something you're familiar with? Yeah, yeah, many years ago. I've, I feel I've had a couple of glimpses in light, you know, a glimpse in the light. And another time in nature when I just felt like I you know, was one with nature very much, just a complete heart opening. Yeah, many years ago that was. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, and I've been on the path since, ever since. <laughs> right, right. Okay, mm. nice to see you again. And you? I don't leave it another three years. <laughs> 
Okay, so, uh, ah, we have Savita. Would you like to say something, Savita? Are, are you still in the house or are you traveling? Uh, I just came back. Oh, you came and, back? Yeah, okay. and, just, and, and just at this moment, I got a, a big order from Cheese In. <laughs> you got a big order from Cheese In? Yes, just now on the second. Ah, very good, good news. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should explain to people that we have a, a business selling honey, very delicious honey, and um, Savita is the the honey lady. Uh, maybe can you? We've lost lost you, Savita. Oh, I I'm oh. still here. Okay, good, good. So you've had a rather successful trip then, have you? Yeah, it was uh, it was a bit strange because I I went in a shop in a small cheese shop, and um, this guy. So I told my story um, very energetically, and then he said, "Yes, I am interested." And then um, he saw the new, more expensive prices. He didn't said anything about this. He just pick this and this and this it was easy i don't know <laughs> it was really um yeah funny well it, it, this seems to be your sort of sales technique yeah that some some days you're in a very good open energy and then people buy honey from you because it's so energy sweet and lovely and then days you're not quite so lovely and people don't want to buy from you, maybe. Is it something like that? I think I lost Savita. Can we get Savita back? Yeah, maybe, say... maybe it's um it's a part like this, but also um after this um this selling, um there were many shops they um they didn't want the honey. So I don't know what's what is that thing really, but maybe it's like when I sell sold very much, then I I have so like a over exciting energy, and this is then too much for the people. Right, could be, yeah, yeah, right, right. Anyway, it's very nice to experience you tonight in such an open strong energy you look very very happy <laughs> it's not it's not always easy yeah to go out in the car and go to a alone. shop alone in the, in the shop explaining about honey <clears throat> yes i mean the best yeah. thing <laughs> the best thing is that we have such delicious honey yeah <laughs> but um, not not anymore. So now big order from Cheese In, and we don't have so much honey left. So we no. are struggling with this now. So. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sure we can buy some more honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. And when we go to India, you know, we can find this very special local honey. Did you hear about that last year? We found somebody in the, in the town where we have the retreat and they go into the jungle, you know, and they find the natural honey, maybe hanging, hanging uh, from a branch on a tree or they find it inside the tree. Maybe there's a crack in the tree and the bees have gone inside the tree. Or they be on the ground, almost on the ground, they go into some kind of uh, little crack in some rocks or something like that. And they find this completely natural honey. It's like found honey, you can say. And, and we first met this in Sri Lanka uh, two years ago, three years ago. And now we discovered that in the town where we have the retreat, we can also find this honey. 
So as you're coming to the retreat, you'll be able to go off in the jungle, maybe. If you... Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Right. Okay, so um yeah, let's see. <clears throat> so perhaps somebody else likes to share. <clears throat> Should we try back to we didn't I haven't spoken to you recently. Um is Kate still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So back to is living in our retreat center outside of Kiev. Uh Bakti Jivot of Nashum Retreat and Centre in uh Nidalgot Kiev. And uh, she and her man and her children, they are running a small hotel and a retreat center where people um, are actually still coming to do seminars. И в принципе вы заведуете тем центром, который проводит семинары, ретрит центром. Кипили. How's it going, Bakhti? Tell her, tell me something about your life. Чё как дела, Бахтиш? Хорошо дела. Слава Богу. У нас сейчас вот, уже ретрит. Приехал, ребята приехали на день раньше, планировали в пятницу, на день раньше приехали. Так что мы тут прочуем, трудимся. Everything goes well, and so right now the group that uh, pretend to show up uh, tomorrow on Friday, they show up a little bit earlier on today, and that's why they are quite busy right now with uh, organizing everything. Okay, what kind of group is this? What is the group? It's meditation, dynamic meditation. It's our group. The guys have already been with us. Tatiana is on video. Tatiana with meditation, dynamic meditation and so on. Okay, good. And what's the weather like? Is it already getting cold? И как по погоде холоднее становится, как вообще? Ну, пока тепло на улице. Нас осень очень балует, осень прекрасная, теплая. Вообще мы просто очень радуемся этому. Everything is fine, it's quite warm, and uh, the autumn is quite well this year. Very warm. And so you can still swim? It's, it's warm enough to swim in the river? Uh, ты можешь плавать еще в реке? To swim it's too cold, uh, but uh, outside it's quite well. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe you remind Hanuman to get some help and get the boat out of the water. Может быть, ты напомнишь Ханаману там с лодками разобраться, с водой их убрать или... Да, уже они все в курсе. Будет заниматься. Ханаман yeah, нам держит know... руку на пульсе хорошо. Yeah, Ханаман is aware about this, and uh, they will do it uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you've got your smile still, so you seem to manage very well. Uh, ты до сих пор улыбаешься, я думаю, что все ты, в принципе, совсем справляешься. На слава Богу, да, слава Богу. Хочу тоже сказать по поводу вот таких вот открытий, да, вот э, сердца, что э, это очень сильно изменило мою жизнь. И я благодарна Джону Дэвиду и этому месту, что мы можем вот э, получать эту энергию здесь, очень сильную энергию. И мы можем справляться с тем, что происходит в этой стране и в нашей жизни. И, в общем-то, это прекрасно. Несмотря на все внешние факторы, все очень прекрасно. Очень много людей. Спасибо. 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 
uh, has. Uh, so it really helps them uh, to manage everything, even during these hard times that happened in Ukraine. Yeah, and mm-hmm. with the situation, and uh, she's really appreciating the energy, your energy, and uh, your involvement in everything. This is okay. And wasn't BJ very nice when he came back? But one of my students, an older man, he was living in Spain at our house in Spain for uh, maybe eight or nine months, I think. And he, he recently came back, and I think you probably experienced him with a lot of energy, a lot of good energy, yeah? А, и, возможно, когда он вернулся, то ты почувствовала, как изменилась его энергия, какую энергию он, в принципе, получал. Ну, Виджей, в общем-то, немножко изменился. Виджей has changed, yeah. Changed. Да, yeah, yeah, changed. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, no, he did, he did um, I mean, over this time, he always refused to really surrender to the community. Потому что на протяжении всего этого времени он все время избегал и не желал соединиться с коммуной. Kind of gave me a chance to get my hands more into him, you know. He he couldn't really escape. He was uh, staying in Spain at our house in Spain and he he couldn't really escape so easily. Да, и он, в принципе, своего рода как впился в него, и таким образом Виджей не мог очень долгое время сбежать из Испании. Сейчас мы ему не можем дозвониться. Он уехал, и вот сегодня мы уже не можем дозвониться. And uh, he left recently from Tripilla, and uh, today Bakhti and Hanuman cannot reach them on the phone. <laughs> what happened with Hanuman? They, they cannot... Uh, they cannot reach VJ uh, uh-huh. by phone, so he uh-huh. didn't answer already. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's probably in the war zone, you know, dropping bombs on him or something. But where you are, it's, it's, it's completely peaceful, is that right? You don't have any, there's no feeling of war where you are outside Kiev. И сейчас в том месте, где вы находитесь, сейчас там безопасно достаточно, да? Да. Yes, it's quite safe. It's right peaceful. Now. Peaceful, uh, yeah. Мирно, да, все? У нас на протяжении всей войны было безопасно. Ну, то есть вот весь, весь этот период у нас тут мир. Ну, это mm-hmm. так вот как-то. Так случилось, да. Uh, somehow, since the war started, uh, it was always... Uh, it was always safe in this place. Right, right. That's good, yeah. And so what, hap- was... what uh, happened just... to you? I remember you've got a house down in the south of Ukraine, which is now in a Russian area. And your mother was Что случилось с твоим домом, который на оккупированной территории? И мама там, по-моему, у тебя? У меня там на оккупированной территории осталась мама, и один из старших сыновей, Илюша, его жена. У меня родилась позавчера внучка вторая. Я уже бабушка в квадрате. So, yes, that's true. My mom and my eldest son live there. And two days ago she became an... Grandma, because her son, his family uh, had a new baby. Uh, right. back, to, back to his <laughs> son had a new baby. Uh, grandma, her son. <laughs> the son had a new baby. How many yeah, babies she's does a grandpa. he have? How many babies uh, does he have? Uh, сколько детей у него? У, ну, у одного сына одна дочка, и у второго сына тоже одна дочка. Uh, both sons has одна, one, одна. Both sons has one child. Uh, both so sons... The one and the youngest one, yeah. Okay. So, and they all live with your grandmother in your house. And it, it's yeah, peaceful he... there, is it? Uh, и они сейчас там живут, и там... Они живут, они сейчас... живут, да. Они живут в этом доме. Слава Богу, как бы все нормально. Ну, офис у них как бы так вот еще не отдали. 
офиса у нас забрали. А, вот, ну, они там живут, как бы, все, все нормально. У них там нету обстрелов, достаточно тихо. Они уже там все российское гражданство приняли. Okay. Uh, so, um, it's, it's good. It's not bad over there. Yeah, but uh, they are all became already Russians, uh, become like a Russian citizen. Okay. They are not Ukrainians anymore, yeah. Right, right. It's like kind of obligatory. Right. You have no choice but to become Russian, yeah. yeah. У тебя нет шанса по-другому. Yeah. Ну, если ты не примешь, да, гражданство там, гражданство. Ну, да. For example, your son, is he able to travel uh, to Tropedia and meet you? Can he come to Ukraine and travel to Ukraine? Uh, Твой сын, он может путешествовать, поехать в Украину, посетить тебя? Ну, он, конечно, может приехать в Украину, но больше он не выйдет из Украины. Uh, yes, he can come to Ukraine, but he cannot come back. Come, come back. Ah, okay. Right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, что будет? Back to me. We didn't talk for a long time, I think. No. Мы не говорили очень долгое время с тобой. Yeah. Okay, very good. So I think uh, we are more or less going to finish. Um, I'm a bit... Ah, oh, oh, here we are. Okay, so there we are. So, um, okay, so I think, and, uh, would somebody else like to have a dialogue or say something or ask something or you're welcome, otherwise we can finish. It's nice, nice for me to talk to you back. It's a long time since we spoke. She and her husband have been looking after our retreat center outside of Kiev and probably For quite a long time, nobody came there except people who were leaving Ukraine. It, it became a kind of safe place for people who were traveling from Ukraine to Poland. They stayed in our, our place. So there was some time with quite a lot of visitors. And then uh, it got very quiet. And then um, I think maybe about a year ago, actually, people started to have seminars again. So that was a little bit surprising, but now since one year, we had many seminars, meditation, yoga, this kind of things. So it's nice to see that Bakshi is still smiling a lot. Yeah. Okay, so anybody like to uh, have a dialogue? I'm still available. Ah, oh, okay, let's try this Gabriel. Gabrielle, yeah. If you'd like to say something, we'll get you big big on the screen. Gabrielle, if you say something. I wanted to ask you because it's the first time we ever met and uh, I I would like to come to India. Okay. Welcome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh you know. Yeah, I, I I even don't know what to I I I shall ask you, but like you know, I I I is that um, it's it's okay yeah. huh, to to come even if if it's the first time. Well, that has to be a first time, you know. Yes, your first time. You yes. never been to India before. No, I I have been to India yeah twice. You have been to India. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we go in the south of India. We come by air to Chennai, which is a big city in the south. It used to be called Madras. And then there's a four-hour taxi ride to a small town. And this is uh, a little bit special town because there's a mountain. So that the land there is very flat, but suddenly there's one mountain and it's called Arunachala. And for Indian people, it's a very special place. And um, we've been somehow 
coming there every year since about 22 years, every year. Um, and uh, we have this nice little ashram where we always go. We have some very nice ladies from the local village who come and cook for us. So we have a Indian lunch and a Western dinner. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a special place also because this mountain attracted a lot of spiritual people there. So in particular, uh, probably you know Ramana Mahashi. Yes. So his ashram is a 10 minute walk from where we're staying. So we spend time in his ashram. Uh, there's still a strong energy there. I would say it's a very particular place. And um, usually in December, January, February, there are a lot of um, Western and Indian teachers who come to this town. Um, and that this attracts people who are interested to come there. So it's a kind of um, particular kind of energy, I would say. And every every month on the full moon, um, a few million Indians come there and they walk around the mountain. It starts about five in the afternoon until five the next morning, a kind of river of humanity all around this mountain. So this is also a kind of amazing phenomena, you can say, human phenomena. And... Um, it's a very energetic kind of place to visit. And we've had wonderful retreats there. So yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah. Thanks. If you have any questions. Uh... Not really, it's, it's uh, I just want to connect to see, uh, you know, it's very new for me, you know. It's, uh, um... Right. Uh, but I, I meditate with Ramana's uh, picture, and this is so much love from his hmm. his I don't, eyes. I don't his know. Have you heard? It? Have you heard about this book? Yes, I, I think I have the translation of it. A glimpse of the German, yeah. So this, yeah. this is uh, this is our last or the latest uh, book out of ten books we published, and this is a. A wonderful situation. It, it's okay. it's a kind of um, from fifty from nineteen fifty wait a minute wait a minute nineteen thirty six. So this there was some young man coming to Ramana's ashram in nineteen thirty six. It's called Ahamsparana. Yes, Ahamsparana and. Aramsparada means a glimpse of realization, is what we were talking about tonight. Yes. And um, <clears throat> two years ago, I discovered this manuscript, which you can buy from Amazon. And we, in our community, in our publishing company, we have um, edited this material and formatted the material. And now we publish the first book. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty wonderful teachings from Ramana in when he was in his prime. You know, we maybe you you see that this picture of him is very different. Yeah, it's very. He's chosen a very young Ramana, and this is how he looked when this commentary was written. So it's a little bit different from what we know of Ramana. Usually, he looks much older. He looks like a sort of happy grandfather. And in this picture and in those days, he was a sort of middle-aged, um, powerful, virile man, you know, somehow um, very different from the image. So he wasn't just feeding, he wasn't just feeding squirrels when he was this age. He was also building his ashram. Ah. So I'm looking forward to meet you in India. Okay, very good, good. Great, I can see you enjoyed the meeting. You look very touched. Yes, I feel very Smiling. happy. I feel very happy. Good, good. I think you'll have a great time. You know, India is always very kind of different from Europe, you know? Yes, it's totally. Nice to go to some culture which is so different from Europe. 
And um, yeah, I, I think the retreat is usually pretty nice. Pretty I have nice. Been very much up to the north to the in Rumtek to my Buddhist teacher in the 2004. I spent there two and a half months in with Boca Rinpoche. I have a, a Buddhist. Uh, um, Buddhist. Tibetan Buddhist teacher, yes. Ah, in the, was it in the north of India? Yes, it's in um, in Sikkim, in Romtek. Oh, wow. wow. This is very, been... It's very, very up in the north. The right. north is part of India. Wow, wow. Very special, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you'll find the south is pretty different. Yes, and, and I went uh, even six years ago to Kanya to marry to the very most southern point. Ah, oh, right. So, but I don't know anything in between. Okay, okay. So you can make contact with Indira. Yes, I spoke to her today. Thank you, Indira. Got some information about India, and uh, we'll arrange a taxi from the airport for you. And uh, you don't have to have any fears. You know, it's all very easy. Yeah, we've beautiful. done it. We've done this twenty-two times, so we're all quite uh, experienced. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> but you probably will get some questions, so then you can ask Indira. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Practical questions. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what happens. And uh, I'll be making a meeting again next week on uh, the same night at eight o'clock. And um, yeah, I think that's that's everything. Okay, so thank you very much. Perhaps see you again next week. Yeah. Yeah.